Okay, here's a demo with the new Peeps Pro IPS. Okay, this is a simple search demo where we've got one transmitter out there, approximately 65 meters away at the moment. Uh, we're just gonna do a simple search test to show you the features of it. So the Peeps IPS Pro, the switch is the big antenna here. So that puts into search mode and then back in, fold it again for send mode. The on off button and the sort of menu button is under here. So I lift that up and I hold this button down and it turns it on. Usual startup routine and asking me if I want to do a group check mode. If not, it goes into transmit. So the switch is only switched when it gets right to the very top. So anywhere around here, it still thinks it's closed. Okay, only when I go up to there, does it go into search mode. Okay, and as you can see there, it's got, uh, it's not receiving any signal, so it's flashing a symbol for a court search. And in the top left-hand corner, it's telling me it thinks the search strip width can be 80 meters. Okay, so it does a bit of an uh, analysis of the magnetic environment around it. And if it's not picking up any interference, it tells you that you can go to maximum search strip, strip width of 80 meters. I did this earlier at home and it came up with 20 meters. So it realized it was in a compromised environment. Now 80 meters is huge. That means you'll never be more than 40 meters away from uh, any point in your search debris. So but 40 meters is still a massive distance when it comes to avalanche searching. Uh, I'd, I'd never go that far. I'd always feel too, you know, that I prefer to do a couple of extra strips and, uh, and cut that distance down just to be on the safe side. But that's what they say. So, because I'm not receiving any signal, what I'm going to do, I'm going to orientate my transceiver in all directions, see if that gets me anything. It doesn't look like it will. Okay, in which case I'm going to start on my course search and carry on moving my transceiver in all planes to try and get a signal as I'm walking along. So I'll just pretend that's the edge of the debris. I'll turn 90 degrees, start heading in. So this is the bit where it says I could walk 80 meters down here before crossing over it, turning again to go across the avalanche debris, which is enormous distance. For the sake of the test, I'm gonna turn much earlier. Okay, so I've probably come down only about 10 meters and now going across the debris, still looking for any kind of signal. Okay, still got nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, hear a noise, stop still. Okay, so there we go, 60 meters. 60, yes, yeah, so it's, it's more than telling me 60 meters, it thinks they've got one signal out there and it can't quite decide because it's a weak signal between over there and I had a bit over there. Because I'm on a flux line and it can't, it doesn't know until I move on which way on the flux line I'm pointing. So I'm gonna go with the one I saw first, which is this way. Okay, so we'll go that way, get it in the middle and off I go. 57. Okay, stay, stable at 57. Okay, I seem to have lost the signal. 60, so it's going up. So knowing what I know that it's going up and now it's lost the signal completely. So I've, I've, so I deliberately went the wrong way there to see what it would do. Come back this way. It's a very intermittent signal, so I'll just set off around here to see, see if I can just see I've lost it again. See what I get. I'll just keep going in the direction I was heading. I know that's better than nothing probably okay right now I'm 48 46 okay so I'll get that in the middle at 46 okay and I'll head off that way okay right so now the numbers going down and the signal is settled down so it's pretty standard at this point I would say this transceiver behaves um, very much like most of the other transceivers on the market you keep the arrow in the middle keep the beeps coming, you keep the number going down and you're getting towards your target. I'm gonna drift off incorrectly now, see it correct me. So I'm heading too far left there, it's bringing me straight back right. Go through far right. Okay, and it's bringing me in. So there we go. So here, it's 
So it's saying 24 meters. I'd say I'm a little bit under that, but in my experience, I think most transceivers overread in this phase by sort of 10, 15%. So I'd say it's more like 20 meters. But okay, I'll keep following it in. 22, all good. Okay, that way a little bit. Up a little bit. Keep going that way a bit. Okay, so under 10 meters, I've got a change of tone, okay, and a change of the arrows to alert me I need to change my behavior. So now I go into a uh, fine search mode, slowing right down. Overshooting is my enemy here. So now I'm gonna keep it all nice and slow. Keep the arrow in the middle, keep the number going down. I've now got the flag option, you can see. So just here, there's a flag option. So if I've got a multiple barrel situation, I could now digitally mask this signal and go on to the next one if I had enough manpower to leave behind the diggers. Okay, so below two meters, I've even lost the arrows, if you can see, and now I've got the classic crosshairs. So I'm not gonna get any directional information now. It's all done via bracketing. So number goes down, number goes up. Okay, come back to where the number was the lowest. Okay, which was round about there. Then we go left, number goes down, number goes up. Okay, come back. Now really, this is the point where you have to, just avoid overshooting here, you have to move slowly. Okay, and there you can see, if I move at the right speed, the, I'm, I'm over the bag, but as soon as I move too quickly, I'm always slightly in the wrong place. Okay, so now I can mark the, so I can mark this transceiver with a yellow button here, which has got a flag on it, it's a bit difficult to see, it's a flag that matches that one. So I flag that. Okay, it digitally masks that one, and now it can't find any other signal. So if I, so yeah, I'd make a decision now about whether I'm gonna do a core search or I'm happy there's only one person to look for. Okay, like most transceivers now, in this situation, to get rid of the mask, I have to turn the transceiver back into send mode. So I go into send mode, like that and then back to search, it'll find that one again. Okay. Okay, so that is a simple search with the Peeps Pro IPS.